welcome to Well Wild. Today we are going to be drinking a couple beers that my wife suggested that I should drink only because she thinks I rate beers too hard and she wants me to rate beers that are on a high scale or at the high end of the scale uh, just so you all will know what I think is good. First up we're going to drink uh, from Lagunitas a little something something. It comes in at 7.5% uh, alcohol by volume and Petaluma, California, I believe is how you pronounce it, and also out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, it should be good. I always like it. Sorry, man. So we've got a nice golden color, um, pretty translucent. A uh, tinge bit hazy. The head on here is a lot of fine bubbles, a lot of medium sized bubbles. It's white head. We're getting uh, fruit on the nose. I mean, maybe a little bit of graininess, but mostly just the fruity hops on the nose. Yeah, that's delicious. It's kind of a biscuity malt flavor with a hint of kind of a tropical fruit uh, with a little bit, a hint of uh, pine and floral hop at the end there. And it's not too bitter and it doesn't linger too long. Uh, the flavors in this are pretty complex and they work really well together. And I just love this beer. It's really good. This is actually a 10 on my 1 to 10. A little something something by Lagunitas. It's an excellent beer. I recommend it for anybody. The uh, drinkability on this is excellent. Delicious. All right, so next up we have from Dogfish Head, the 90 Minute Imperial IPA. Uh, it comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. Um, I really love this beer and we're gonna drink it. Or I'm gonna drink it and you're gonna watch. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It is quite a big beer. Has a nice amber color. Uh, slightly off white head. I get malts, like a fresh break baked bread in the uh, in the malt aroma there. With a with a hint of uh, hop. Oh yeah, it's a nice round, bold flavor in the malt. Almost no bitterness at the finish, but you do get a little bit of the hops throughout the whole sip in the front, the middle, and the finish. You get the malts all the way through as well. I mean, that's a testament to a good beer right there when you can get all the flavors to mingle all the way through the sip, you know? And at 9% you can't go wrong. I mean that that flavor with that percentage of alcohol, if you're trying to get there, you're gonna get there. I've seen people drink liters of this stuff and just enjoy the crap out of themselves. I like the Imperial IPAs more than a regular IPA only because they tend to add more malt and it balances it out a lot better. Um, I mean, a side effect of that is you're going to get the higher alcohol content, but it's totally worth it because you don't have to drink as much. It's quite delicious. I love it. It's probably my favorite beer in the whole wide world. This definitely gets a 10 out of 10. 
and um, I definitely recommend it to anybody. So hopefully this little video will let you know what my top tens are. My wife said I should do this because I definitely rate a lot of beers pretty low according to her. The biggest thing is, is I just want a good balance and excellent flavor and a lot of beers actually don't deliver that and then these two beers definitely achieve that goal. Thanks for watching. We got a little something something, Lagunitas, Imperial IPA, 90 minute Imperial IPA, Dogfish Head, two of my favorite beers. Uh, definitely try them. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.